Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're doing something that we don't normally do. We're not fishing for trout. I wanted to change it up. So today, we're gonna be going for pike, hybrid bass, and walleye. I'm headed to a lake right now that I've probably fished for 20 hours and caught two fish. So it's definitely a tough lake to fish, at least for me it is. But I'm declaring war on these fish and I will catch fish today if I have to stay out here till midnight. So let's get to the lake and uh, start fishing. All right, so here's the deal. I know nothing about bass fishing or walleye fishing. I just throw lures and sometimes I catch something. And the only rod I have today is this little ultralight spinning rod that I use for most of my trout fishing. And I got some six pound fluorocarbon. So if we actually hook into a pike, it's very unlikely that we'll land them. And by the way, guys, I got a haircut. It was just getting ridiculous. It was getting down to here. And I just felt like a girl every morning brushing it. What in the heck? I swear I had some white curl tails. That's what I was kind of planning on throwing today because the only two fish I've caught from this lake were on white curl tails. I thought I brought, I, I know I bought a brand new pack of them, but I must not have put them in my bag. <sighs> well, that sucks. So I think I'm gonna start with the Rapala, Old Faithful. It'll catch anything. Well, that sucks, man. I was kind of putting my faith in the white curl tails today. But of course, the one day I want to use them, I didn't bring them. Oh yeah, and I don't have any steel leaders, so. If I hook into a pike, very little chance we actually land it. So hopefully we catch walleye and bass. Got my seeds, we're all good to go. The high water mark is like right here. And the water is clear down there. That is insane. I feel like today's either gonna be amazing or I'm not gonna catch a freaking thing. Got a carp head. There's lots of carp in here water is a little bit murky there's still like five inches of visibility but i'm going to start right at this rock pile there's probably a lot of bait fish that like to hide in these rocks and where you can find bait fish you can usually find bigger fish so let's give it a try first cast of the day oh Just a rock, just a rock. All right, well, I just fished all around this rock wall. Not a single bite, not a follow. I didn't even see a fish jump on the surface, so. There's not really any structure around this lake other than that, so. It's just a big sandy beach. Ooh, check that out. <laughs> Found myself a nice, I don't even know what brand this is. Looks nice though, just sitting right here. Heck yeah, I'll take that. Probably a five, six dollar lure. All right, so I'm at the dam and there's the outflow right there. And I would have to imagine there's gonna be some fish just right here where the water's flowing out. And it looks like there's a lot more rocks too, so let's see. hooked up guys we are hooked up and I can't believe I didn't have my camera on he hit it right here you guys see that big dust cloud he hit it right here and it is giant <sighs> I'm freaking out it literally looks like a 10 pound fish I don't know what it is but it just came up right here and crushed it oh my gosh oh my gosh two and a half hours of fishing later you guys oh my gosh what is that it looks like a giant pike it's just right here Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, 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 What is that? What is that? What is that? I am freaking out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, what the heck did I just talk? Dude, I'm shaking. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, no. It's a freaking, it's a pike or a muskie. I don't know. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. Holy crap. I am shaking. 
Dude, and I don't have a steel leader on. Oh my gosh, I have to get this fish in. I don't have a steel, I have a six pound test. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Oh, it's hooked right there in the side of the mouth. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I don't think this net's gonna do much. I'm gonna have to just grab him. No, oh. Oh. oh, okay, he didn't like that. He didn't like that. Get over here, get over here. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at that fish. Okay, okay, bring him up here, bring him up here. I can't spook him or else he'll, he's just gonna bolt. Oh, okay. I didn't hook him in the mouth. He's kind of got it on just the outside of his mouth. So I don't think he's gonna break me off, but I don't know. Dude, holy crap. Holy crap. Dude, look at that thing. Look at that thing. It's a, dude, is that a musky? That's a tiger musk. That's not a pike. That's a tiger musky. You've got, okay, okay. I'm literally shaking. I'm literally shaking. I don't know how to land this fish. I just gotta, okay. There's like no good spot to land him. And I don't wanna force him. I'm just gonna try to grab his tail and I don't wanna scare him or else he's gonna bolt. Okay, hold on bud, hold on. Got him, got him. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, I don't, I don't. Okay, okay, I am soaking wet, I am shaking. I'm just gonna have to let him get tired. I forgot to mention, I switched from the Rapala. I wasn't getting anything, so I switched to a big pink and white rainbow trout spoon, and he crushed it. Oh, there he goes again. Dude, this is freaking insane. This is freaking insane. He ate it right here at my feet. I just could see him just whoo, take it in like two inches of water. Oh my gosh, I wish I was recording. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I wasn't recording. I've been recording for like two hours and I turned my camera off for 20 minutes. 20 minutes and I hook into a freaking 15 pound muskie. Look at him, he's just sitting right there. He's just sitting right there. All right. I'm gonna be extra, extra careful, folks. I'm not gonna horse him. If he wants to run, he's gonna run. I'm gonna loosen the drag. He can do whatever he needs. I am not, I am not losing this fish. All right. Come here, buddy. Yep, nope, 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 nope. This is ridiculous. Just keep that line out of his mouth. That's my main goal. Okay, hold on bud. I don't want to scare him. Got him, got him. Oh, nope, 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 I got you. Nope, 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 I got you. Hey, 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 no, oh, dang it. No, 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 no. Oh my God. He just broke off. He just broke me off. Clean cut. Clean cut, dude. Oh my gosh. Gosh. It's not often I'm genuinely just destroyed over a fish like that oh my dude i'm truly devastated i don't know the last time i felt this way like it was a clean cut my knot didn't fail or anything like that i think i had him hooked on the outside of the mouth so the lure wasn't in his mouth when he came up to my feet and bit it he kind of like swiped at it and i think it just hooked him right on the outside when i was trying to lift him he just kind of did the death roll and the line must have just gotten his teeth and he was gone oh my gosh i should have just went in and grabbed him you guys are gonna light me up in the comments. I should have just went in knee deep and grabbed him. But at least you guys got to see him. Like, at least he didn't just break off out there. Like, I actually had him landed, so. I don't know, do I count that as a catch? I mean, I had him on shore, and if I really wanted to, I could have just 
tossed him up on shore, but I didn't want to injure him. Dude, I'm just gonna have to sit here for a minute. <laughs> I'm genuinely about to cry. I don't want to believe that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the three emotions I feel.